five. Okay, hopefully we'll see this works better. And welcome to 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Started a little bit late today, I was experimenting. It's 5.11 and that was one of the experiments right there. That is Bubbles. So we'll see if Bubbles joins our show and provides commentary and comic belief or relief, I should say. Again, it's 5 a.m. Oh, there's her sister. I was not expecting that. That is weird and totally unexpected. I got a thumb up, ups idea, thumb up from my daughter yesterday. I said, how about if I put the ladder up there? You think Bubbles will get in the back of the video? She's laughing. She's <laughs> like, yeah, you should do it. So now we got cats in the video. So we should get high likes, right? So again, 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll experiment with this. I didn't know that was going to happen with the ladder, but why not? Um, fixed a couple of mess ups. I did shave this morning because it was all scruffy last time. Um, got an extra microphone because I needed the microphone for the phone or two places to get feedback in. And uh, so well, the goal of the 5 a.m. Muster Scrum, we'll do a couple of things. One, we're going to talk about Scrum and Agile and different ideas. And we are going to I'm going to give a couple things what I did, just like a daily scrum, should take a couple seconds and then talk about maybe one or two subjects and I'll be done in less than 15 minutes because daily scrum should be less than 15 minutes. Um, there's no team that shouldn't take any more. Um, sorry about the ums. I'll try to track that. And we got two angles and two videos and a cat behind me. Okay, that's going to mess me up. The tail part, it wasn't counting that. Um, right now, drinking my UPS coffee mug early in the morning. I figured I needed coffee today and uh, go from there. Um, okay, so what did I do yesterday, the other day? I got out the corporate documents from my friend. So he's unblocked. He's out sending stuff to everybody to read and make sure it's good. And when he gets it back, we'll sign it and we'll submit it to the, to the city. One of the things I learned, um, I was blocked. Apparently the IRS is not open at two o'clock in the morning. Go figure, right? They apparently they only take the EIN submittal stuff in between 7 a.m. and and 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. So come 7 a.m. I'll submit the EIN number for him. I also reserved the 5 a.m. Master Scrum URL. I created a channel on YouTube. I have to turn it on yet and put a little logo on it, but I'm recording these videos anyhow to get ready for the show. Um, so I got the 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum and set up a couple other things and talked to a couple of friends that um, to land some interviews for them on their activities and just gave them some pointers. They were waiting for people to get back to them and just had to um, check with them and unblock them because they were blocked. So I did a little Scrum Master stuff for their stuff too. And we'll see how that went. I think he did good because he actually got a couple of people confirmed. So he's going to be doing his thing. So I helped him with his process. Okay. So what am I going to do today? I already talked about doing the EIN stuff. I have a couple of things going on. I looked at my schedule. You know, pull up your daily guide. You know, your what's going on. I already checked this morning all my meetings and outlook for my comp the pe company I'm working for this this time. And I uh, got a bunch of just daily scrum meetings I got to go through. Um, I'm actually introducing a playbook that I have right for them. Every time I go to a company, it turns out that I do a playbook. Um, I did some back history. And within a month, if they don't have one, I actually create one. So I got I to gotta present that today. And then uh, there's another meeting, a couple other presentations as, a, as an enterprise um, agile coach. Just coming up new process and procedures for them. And uh, this one is about logging work into Rally and Jira. Uh, go figure. Not everybody's logging work in. Huh. Hmm. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. Maybe I'll put a blog post about how to do that too. Um, so those are my things today. And then I got to pick up the kids and make sure they're there. Um, there's a cat back there messing with me. So I was like trying to get it off. Anyway, 
Looks like, nope, there's still one back there. There's another one. Um, okay, so topics. Let's say daily scrum was a good one because we're talking about daily scrum. And the other topic will be, uh, I don't know. We'll just do daily scrum and we'll figure out the next topic. Uh, I may be backlog grooming because I had a good issue yesterday. Um, also, just on the, uh, the note, I, um, there was a LinkedIn feed that was talking about um, interviews. And one of the years I really liked it, it was offshore. And um, the interview, the guy asked, so what is, asked me, what is not in my resume? And I thought that was a really good question because we've been interviewing a bunch of people for agile coach positions. And um, I actually used it. I asked the uh, interviewee, so what is not on your resume? And, and it was a good response. We and I'm have an extra 15 minute conversation about everything that's not on the resume. So that worked out great. Um, I wonder how this cat thing is going to work. This is an experiment and it's probably a distraction for me. She's now attacking my chair, but that's okay. She's worse than her sister. Usually her sister is much worse. That's funny. And they're alley cats, by the way, they're rescue cats. So this, this is hard. And the other one's bubbles. So maybe I should put my little picture of them as a kitten. I have a uh, tester and a um, developer little Mimi I wrote up with the two of them when they were kittens. One, this one found the bug looking in the window and the other one jumped up to help him fix, get the bug. So I made a big thing on uh, a posting on that. So we'll talk about that. Okay, daily scrum. As you know, daily scrum should be short, brief, and to the point. The idea behind daily scrum, like I wanted, I only spend, I only spend like 30 seconds to a minute when we do this more because I'm doing introduction stuff. But when you do daily scrum, everybody should go down pretty quickly. And one of the things I, I came up with when the first time you do daily scrum is we do a exercise called, what was a lot? It was three questions and it's a networking exercise. I've used it at a couple of events that I've spoken to and actually the Agile Philly event, which is in the fall, a guy wants me to do it again this time and I'm gonna send in my application for him. So that's another thing I gotta do, but I'm not gonna do that's on my whip. Um, and I gotta do a good job managing my whip. So the thing is you say, what fun thing did you do last weekend? What is the next fun thing you're gonna do the following weekend? And are there any blockers to having fun? And the reason why you do that, it, it gives you in a networking advance some information about personal about the person. So when you have a conversation, if you're trying to remember their name, you have some visual reference to clue you in on what that would be. There goes the cats. Okay. Surprise bubbles in here. Bubbles. Where's bubbles? Anyway. So that distraction's over. All right, cool. So we're at the eight minute mark. Um, one of the things in that daily scrum, so it should, so I've done that thing with 30 people in the room in less than eight minutes. So with the other reason why you do it from a coaching perspective, I go around the room. I don't talk work. I don't talk what we're doing. I don't get all technical. I just have them give an example. And when I teach the class, I do it for a reason because it shows that daily scrum doesn't have to be very long. And if you have 30 people in the room, like, oh, God. And then you go around and ask them, well, how long do you think it took? Most people are like, oh, man, it took 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it would be. And they're usually much longer. There's only been one or two people that actually guessed it. But the last time I did it with about 25 people, it took six and a half minutes. They, they all guessed higher, and they're all shocked. They're like, oh, my God, we learned all this information about everybody else in the room. And there's like 25 of us and we did it in six minutes. Yeah, we're doing Dallas Crown wrong. Like, you got it. So anyway, they slowly but surely catch up on it. So that's what that's one of the things I wanted to present to you from a daily scrum perspective. I have a video of it at a conference, actually two conferences, where we capture some video blogs, and I'll put a link below on those video things. They're on my personal one, they're not on the channel yet, but I'll link the play link in my channel, we'll make some playlists about Scrum and things like that. And I'll build some different playlists related to topic areas. And I want your feedback too. So if there's anything that you all want to hear about from a Scrum or Azure perspective, feel free to 
add it. And we got lots of content, so we'll have to figure this out. But one thing I definitely need to do, they talk about playing it out. So one of the things I do for my daily scrum, I have my own personal daily scrum where I would go into my Outlook page, look at all the meetings I have through the day and the things I got to personally do. And I actually kind of, hopefully you can't see, kind of write it down in my little blog thing, what meetings, when they are. Um, it's yes, it's in my calendar, but the good thing about doing this is that it makes me think about it and remind me of some stuff and it triggers some thoughts on what I want to look for before the meeting. So it helps me prime. So basically my own personal daily scrum as, as an agile coach or scrum master in the past, and just getting your stuff together. is just like, go through all the things you got to do. So that's the, that's the to do part. What did you finish yesterday? Kind of clears your mind after falling asleep for a couple hours. You don't get a lot of sleep around if you do 5 a.m. master scrum, right? Yeah, no, not 5 a.m. They're all, oh my, what are you doing? Anyway, so got that going on. Um, let's see, is there any other things? Uh, no, for now, that's good enough because my brain just shot. But I need to write these down as ideas. So this is a lesson to learn video. Um, at least this, I fixed this blooper where the, the door to the washer dryer is no longer open. So that's fixed. Lessons learned. Try it out. Doesn't hurt. Let's see where you go. Um, so with that, I, I got that done. Okay. So the other one I want to talk about is backlog. And during the thing we were chatting, because the guy's another agile coach, and we're just chatting. And one of the ideas was cleaning up the backlog. One of the things that product owners and, and BAs and people in business and the teams don't do enough is just keeping their backlog clean. And I have been a proponent of that for, for most of my career, where not only do you enter stuff, you have to go in every while and clean up, you have to de-weed it. And the visual, and I'll have to, I'm gonna make a little blog post later, is cleaning the dead limbs out of a tree. Right, and I got a good tree. It's got some dead limbs. I'm going to take a picture of it and put it up on my blog post and then talk about it. People need to go on their systems like Rally, Azure, DevOps, VST, you know, old VSTS, um, Jira, um, all those systems, Trillo, whatever you're using. And you need to go through your backlog and look how old stuff is. Um, you need to see some of the companies have stuff that's in there for a year, you know. Other companies I've done in the past, they had your backlog. I'm like, why is this stuff so stale? And you think of it from a lean perspective. It just fills up your backlog, makes it more complicated. Lots of stuff in the backlog. Visually on the screen, it just looks bad. So what you need to do is go through every once in a while and say, hey, give me all my features and stories that are greater than a year old. And just do a quick look. You know, uh, personally, from a lean perspective, if you haven't, Implemented it in a year and you're having your system, it ain't had that value. So just delete it. Don't even say, oh, I'll save it. Why are you going to save it? It's like, it just takes up space. It's clutter. Um, you're not going to do it. And you're going to spend more time and more money trying to figure out why the heck you wrote it in the first place than you will actually doing it. So if you have features in your backlog, Take, do the thing, go in there and say, okay, what does, what's, what features are here or stories that are more than a year old? I have, personally, I say delete them. Someone say, oh, archive them. You can archive them, it's fine. But get them off your screen, get them out. It's clutter, it messes up your brain. So let it go. Anyway, so those are two things. Talked about little daily scrum, the networking thing, and I'll post those links below. Um, also, Paul t post talked about clean up your backlog. And with that, I think we're at like almost 14 minutes. So I'm gonna wrap this up. This is session number two. And I gotta do number two, 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 two. I hope I didn't curse anybody out there. I know there's all kinds of things like if you do it one way, another way. So session two. Um, sorry, I apologize to anybody who gets offended by doing the two. And remember, this is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Please subscribe, like us, comment, give me ideas on what you want to talk about from a Scrum perspective every day 
there's so much content. So I said, eh, why not? I did try a couple of failures, lessons learned. I did try the live settings on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and it all failed. So it was a big failure, but I figured what the heck I was going to go live. We will go live some. I did register for YouTube live, but it says it takes 24 hours for it to kick in. So maybe the next session we do this, I will actually have it live and I'll have a better channel picture and there'll be at least two pieces of content in there and some links and everything. So with that, thank you very much, everybody. Good morning. And yeah, I'll have to do a thing on my old UPS cup where I have my coffee and uh, I have a blog post about that. And I'll, maybe I'll talk about that in a future episode. Well, thank you. Take care. It was a pleasure. And have enjoy your day. Happy scrumming, as I always tell everybody. Happy scrumming. Bye.